Yeah, I think sort of open up when we pull that resonance out. There's a really yeah, that was huge. Wow. Oh. Take the kick, which is there, and bring it up two semitones to get to the A. Yep. Or we need to take the bass line and drop it down to where the kick is. At the same time that's happening is pulling down the peak, but just accentuating the transient of some of the highs. More often than not, the ones you spend two weeks on, they're the ones that, are, that people like the least. And it's the ones that you knock out in sort of six, seven hours. The raw emotion is still attached to it almost. And it, uh, so when people hear it, they, they hear that rather than the kind of clinical two weeks down the line kind of version, which is all kind of ironed out and there's no rough edges. The more music that you make and you sort of spend less time on those edges, the happier you're going to be making the music because you're going to be sticking it out there, you're going to be getting people commenting on it, liking it, playing it, and that's going to fuel you on for the next track, and the next track will be better than the track you've just done. Yeah, so it it can just it can definitely lead you up some some really interesting paths. Yeah, how's the fun? Oh my god, how's the fun? I mean, there's so much material in that. If every sixteen bars, like it's just pulling out for a couple of notes and then coming back in, it does a lot of things. It does a lot of technical things with the limiters in the club, like pulling uh, the, the limiters reset themselves. So when it comes back in, they're not ready for it, and you get extra punch. Out of it. <laughs> so you're kind of saturating the mids getting a little bit more tone and character and then the OTT is just enhancing it massively by expanding the level of the low notes, bringing them nice and loud and then just blending it in with the amount knob. I mean, you can get pretty fucking over the top with it, but... <laughs> By saturating that mid-channel, you're not changing the level of the sub at all. So that's staying really, really consistent, which is what you need for a good club track, obviously. This was great, uh, Mark. Thank you so much for today. You know, just the pointers and the way of thinking about the transition, that's really sparked the most thought in my head right now. Walking me through how to, like I've, I've, I've heard, I've read, you know, try to carry some of the, the theme through, but seeing you do it, makes total sense now. That's why I'm here, man.